Ever wondered who's fueling the fiberglass revolution in fly fishing? In addition to Cameron Mortensen, it's this company right here, Epic Fly Fishing. And I've got with me the seven foot, six inch, four weight fast glass, and we're gonna review it right now. Here at Trident, we're really proud to announce that we're one of the first dealers in the US to carry the entire lineup of Epic Studio Built Fly Rods. And you'll definitely want to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future Epic Fly Rod reviews. Starting from the bottom, we've got this awesome Alps triangular reel seat. It's triangular so the ring never moves around and you'll never wonder where to place your reel, but it's also just super high quality. And even though it's a single uplocking reel seat, it locks in nice and tight, so you're never gonna have to worry about whether your reel is coming loose. Moving on up, we've got this great grip, and it reminds me a lot of the Sage Snubnose Half Wells. Fits your hand really well, super comfortable. Definitely one of my favorites out there. As we get to the blank, you'll notice right away that this is built in a lime green color. Obviously, you're gonna see this from a long way away, but it's a super fun color on the water. Epic, of course, adds alignment dots, which really like and save you time as you're rigging up. And as we move up to the first guide, you'll notice a couple of things. First, they've done the stripping guides in a very classic feel. So while it's not the highest tech componentry out there, it makes sense to have guides like this on a glass rod. But what you'll also notice is that these wraps are not only clear, but very near perfect. The workmanship on this rod is outstanding and easily up there with some of the top rods made today. Then as we get to the snake guides, you'll see that they're a little bit smaller in diameter and thinner wire than what you're used to on a standard rod. And I believe that that gives a little bit better accuracy and lowers the swing weight a little bit. Again, well done Epic on this. But of course, it's all about how this rod casts, so let's take it out to the field and see how it performs. Starting at 30 feet, that's gonna be the critical distance for this Epic. It's designed for short shots in close, and it does it really marvelously. And if you haven't cast a fiberglass rod in a long time, you really should get out there and try it because the new ones, like this Epic, are a lot more accurate than ones that you used to cast back in the 80s. Moving back to 45 feet, the Epic still retains a little bit of versatility. Sure, you're not getting super high line speeds, and you can obviously tell that this is a very soft glass rod and not a high performance carbon rod, but it will get the job done. I like to think of this situation more as one where you're on a small stream and you can't quite walk over to a rising fish. So you need to make that little bit longer shot. And this glass rod will definitely do that for you. 60 feet on the other hand is gonna be a no-go. We tested this rod with a Rio Gold, maybe with something super light like a Rio Trout LT. You could approach longer distances, but frankly, that's not what this rod is designed for and it doesn't do it very well. Glass is the hot thing on the market these days, and this Epic 764 Fast Glass is a great example why. It's super, super fun to fish and an awesome rod overall. Now we're going to finish up by giving you a Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, the Epic earns a 7 out of 10 as, while it's really nice and accurate at 30 feet, it starts to lose accuracy at 45 feet and really doesn't perform well at all at 60 feet. And the only reason we've given it a seven out of 10 as opposed to a lower score is that this is really a rod that's only designed for those short to mid distances. And it's not really fair to judge it against a rod like the Sage Igniter. Next up is components. And these components are really great. And they, while they haven't used the absolute highest performance componentry like recoil guides, that wouldn't really have made a lot of sense on a small water four weight glass rod. So we've given it an eight out of 10. For distance, this is not the rod for you. It's just not gonna do anything at distance and I've given it a three out of 10. As I said before, I really enjoyed the grip on this rod and it's one of my favorites and it's earned a nine out of 10. In terms of workmanship, Epic builds some of the prettiest rods out there and I've awarded them a 10 out of 10. In terms of swing weight, the fast glass comes in at 52 gram meters squared, which is 
definitely on the high side for a short four weight and we've given it a six out of 10. In terms of value, the fast glass retails for $895 and it's definitely not cheap, but it's a cool rod from a cool company. So I've given it a seven out of 10. Last but not least is the cool factor. And right now an Epic fiberglass is about as cool as it comes. So it's earned a 10 out of 10. That leaves us with a total Poseidon score of 60 out of 80, which is about in the middle of the rods that we've reviewed so far. If you have questions about this new Epic four weight fast glass or any rod in the Epic lineup, don't hesitate to give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24 seven at support at tridentflyfishing.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment in the box below. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.